Shafted is, at the moment, it's a show in a wide body of activism. We've got a show in the arches in three quarters of an hour, uh, which is really exciting. And it's on the 25th anniversary, the whole show and the activism around it, uh, on the 25th anniversary of a group called ACT UP. ACT UP uh, stands for AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, which was an incredible, inspiring um, grassroots movement in the 80s and 90s, and still around, but it started in the 80s and 90s to combat and challenge the HIV AIDS crisis. And so we're paying tribute to them um, and bringing it into the modern day as well, amongst many other things, but that's probably good for now. It's been a lot of fun. If I didn't, if it wasn't fun, I probably wouldn't do it because um, I think fun and creativity um, and causing mayhem is central to a lot of reasons why we commit to activism because um, it's about inspiring, um, creating life, um, things which make us want to feel alive rather than like dead end, monotonous capitalist processes which we can easily slip into. So fun is an essential part of it. Because it's a serious issue, with serious issues you can either treat them in a very serious way or you can try and make it more digestible. And, and, and having fun isn't trivialising things either, either. It's just a way of processing the information. The primary aim is to stop the cuts to services, the HIV education and prevention services across the UK, which are as part of the austerity cuts. Um, as we talk about in the show, it's looking at the statistics. Um, so there's three reasons for that aim. The aim being to stop the cuts. And so the, the, the issues are, which is why Shafted is also um, putting up the agenda, the concept of the second silence, the third silence being in the 80s, and the second silence being now, because of the rise in transmission levels, the cuts to services, and the general belief that it was resolved in the 80s, you know, when Mark Fowler walked out of EastEnders. So for all these reasons, we've got to put it up the agenda again. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to stop um, doing shows, doing actions, occupations, writing, movement building, everything that we need to do until our mission is completed of stopping the cuts to services. And that's domestically, but internationally, um, is making sure that HIV, the HIV AIDS epidemic is stopped within our lifetimes, um, that there is a cure to AIDS, which I personally believe is out there already. Um, but there's a lot of talk and not enough action. And the poor boy, he looks at me stunned. He looks like a deer in headlights. He silently goes up to the bar and gets two large pints. What, this could be our last drink together? This could be our last drink. Wow. I'm sure the doctor said it wasn't a death sentence, but... If that's what you're thinking, yeah. Whilst we're up there, Paul, I'll get another <laughs> pint, a bottle of wine, a bottle of that box as well. Thanks, Paul. Shafted is um, a performance which we made last year for our friend Dan, who is one of my best friends and I've known him for 10 years and um, Dan's had HIV for about 8 years now and he was getting really bored of having to tell people and them getting really upset and he wanted a way of telling everyone they didn't know in one go, which would be like a celebration and, and which would say something about him. So. We kind of came up with it in the pub and then it actually happened, you know, we were joking about wouldn't it be brilliant if you could come out as having HIV, HIV by being blasted out of a massive pink penis. And then we actually made the pink penis and then we did this show last year in a church for like family and friends and people that he knew and for a lot of them it was actually how they found out he had HIV. This time I'm, a, I'm an arrogant doctor who's the one that tells Dan he's got HIV but doesn't really listen to him. And then I play um, one of Dan's friends in a pub scene, and then I play a glamour girl in the quiz show, which involves dancing. Just the whole vibe of, you know, none of us are professionals, so just like getting together with all your mates and their mates as a big group and um, putting something on yourselves and like, and uh, just feeling the energy of. Um, the creative energy of just being together and seeing that we've all got these little talents and, and laughing at each other and, and just creating that energy really. Um, well, the original aim of Shafted was, well, it was pretty simple, yeah, for Dan to come out as having HIV. And then after the show we um, thought that actually that model could be repeated and we could take Shafted to other places and help other people 
have other people as a star of the show and they could also come out as having HIV to their friends and family and whatever they, where they, they want to do it. We could redesign it around them. So that's still the plan, but for now we're just redoing it a couple of times. But you know, we're all friends, so it's like we've not got time to go on tour as a theatre company. We just get together whenever and put on, do what we can, you know, and it's just, um, it's more organic really.